If he does kiss you before the sun sets on the third day, you'll remain human permanently. But if he doesn't, you turn back into a mermaid and you belong to me. No, Ari! <laughs> Have we got a deal? If I become human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. That's right. But you'll have your man. <laughs> Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and there is one more thing. We haven't discussed the subject of payment. You can't get something for nothing, you know. But I don't have it. I'm not asking much. Just a token, really, a trifle. You'll never even miss it. What I want from you is... Your voice. My voice? You've got it, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, zip. But without my voice, how can I... You'll have your looks, your pretty face. And don't underestimate the importance of a body language. Ha! The men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on, then, not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't in swoon and fall on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who gets a man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Your voice, your poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Got some checks and now I've got her voice. The boss is on a roll. This poor. Savruga, come wings of the Caspian Sea. Princess, your sight is set, and that's love and giant is love.